Hello, Motion Church family. It is Heart for the House month right here, right now. Heart for the House is a special season at Motion Church when we pursue the heart and the dream of God for His church through sharing vision and giving an opportunity to give generously to see that vision come to pass. Motion Church began way back in 1975 with five families in the basement of a home on the North Shore. It has grown since then to a church family of over 500 with two locations, a ministry training school, which we call MoCo, Motion College, live streaming, songwriting, recording, and so much more. So there's lots to celebrate what God has done, but Heart for the House is more than just looking back and celebrating. It's also looking forward to the vision that God has for us for the future. There is more that God has in store for Motion Church. And this is not about just our generation, but it's also about the generations to come. Yes, and this month you're going to hear about four initiatives that are going to make a difference right now in this moment, but also for generations to come. You know, if I could describe the theme of Heart for the House with one word, I would use the word legacy. Legacy takes our focus and shifts it from survival, from right now, to significance. What, what is my life going to look like? How am I going to be remembered? How will this church be remembered in generations to come? And so someone believed way back in the day that, uh, that you would be here at this church at this time and made the sacrifice to plant this church, Motion Church, so that we could enjoy the fruit of it today. And so that that's, this has happened so many times. Someone believed that we could train ministry leaders and gave towards planting a school called Motion College. Someone believed in the vision of Motion Church on the North Shore and gave towards that vision so that we now have that campus on the North Shore. So the reason we talk about this is because it's easy for us to get focused and completely centered on this life and what we're experiencing right now and forget that there is a life to come. There is an eternity. And it's important for us to know that that the work that the church does is not just for mo this moment right now, but it's also for eternity. And there are people in Kamloops that need to hear the good news about Jesus Christ. We need to reach them. And there's people in Merritt that need to hear the good news about Jesus Christ. So what we do in this life makes a difference for eternity. And we want to take as many people to heaven with us as we can. I love hearing the story of changed lives, like the grandmother who was out for her morning walk and somebody from Motion Church invited her to come. Well, she came to church, received Jesus, very quickly started serving on her teams and couldn't stop talking about the work that God was doing in her life. Or like the TRU student that was invited by a friend and wept through the service, had never heard the name of Jesus before in his life, never once. Imagine that right here in Kamloops. When I asked him, what was so moving that caused you to weep through the service? He said, I feel God here. Listen, you're making a difference right now. But God has called us not only to make a difference here in the city of Kamloops, but he's given us a regional influence and we know that. And so our dream and our vision is to plant a hundred churches and campuses in our region, nationally and globally. The first plant was in the North Shore, but next is Merritt. And as we get into this vision, we realize we're going to need to raise up pastors and leaders for those campuses and churches that we plant. And so in 2021, we launched Motion College. And here it is now, a couple years later, we're now launching the third year of Motion College. We'll have our first three-year graduates this coming spring. Isn't that exciting? I love what God is doing. And so we want to serve the communities where we plant these churches. We want to inject God's kingdom culture into each one of those communities. We know God has given us in our DNA that we're a house of worshipers, that we're a house of miracles. We, we need to reproduce that into each of the communities that God sends us to. So our hearts are full of vision and Heart for the House is about closing that vision gap. It's the gap between where we are right now and the vision that God has called us to. This year, the four initiatives that we'll be focusing on. Number one, on paying off the mortgage burning that mortgage for our downtown headquarters. We've been faithfully paying that mortgage aggressively for 15 years. It's over 200,000 remaining on it. That's gonna be paid off this fall. We're gonna be planting the Merritt campus this coming year. 
it's already partially funded so heart for the house is going to finish the funding for that we'll be launching into ministry third year graduates from moco this coming spring we're so excited about that and i believe this is the year that we're going to start making those steps towards a permanent home for our north shore campus our heart is that you would catch the vision that God has for Motion Church and that you'd be moved to give generously to make these next steps possible. So that's our heart for his house. It's our heart for the house. We'll be receiving this special offering on October the 29th, Sunday, October the 29th. It's gonna be a great Sunday, an exciting Sunday. Put it in your calendar and make plans that you're here that weekend. But there are some people that have already on our legacy team given towards this heart for the house offering. In fact, Nearly $60,000 has already come in towards these projects. And so I just want you to get excited that others are already giving towards this. And if you can't be here on October the 29th, you can give at any point in the month towards this Heart for the House offering. We're so excited. Thank you for partnering together with us for Heart for the House in 2023. Hi Motion Church, my name is Cam and I'm the Connections Director here at the church. And it's my honor today to be able to share with you some amazing things that are happening right here at Motion Church. But before we get started, I wanted to say thank you. Thank you from your pastors and leaders. Thank you for always investing in the kingdom of God. Thank you for always believing in the vision and mission of Motion Church. Everything we do here at Motion Church is rooted in scripture. Matthew 28, 19 says, Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Every Sunday morning, we come together as teams, as our teams prepare to serve and to lead um, and to, to preach and all that kind of stuff. We remind ourselves that every person matters to God and they should matter to us. So that is why every Sunday morning, we give people an opportunity to receive Jesus into their heart. And that's the first number I get to celebrate with you. Since the beginning of the year, we've had 90 people give their lives to the Lord in our Sunday services, um, in person and online. And as we know God works in their hearts and starts to change them, the next step for them is baptism. So another amazing number um, is baptisms. And 36 people so, this, so far this year have been baptized, some at the downtown campus, some of the North Shore campus, some right in Kamloops Lake. Um, it's amazing because what happens, we know that, that when God does the work in them and changes their hearts, um, they take that step of obedience to come together in public and declare that I will follow Jesus for the first time or for the rest of my life. I will follow him for the rest of my life with all my heart. So it is an amazing celebration. I think for me, baptism is one of the most exciting things and the most exciting steps you can take in your Christian walk. Another number I get to share with you is attendance. Now as people are baptized and as new believers are growing, as God's working in them, People, come, people start asking questions, their friends, their families, their co-workers, they start to notice difference in these people. They start to notice some changes and some of them, some of them brush them off, but some of them go, hey, I want some of that. So one of the coolest numbers, one of the most exciting numbers that I get to share with you is from this time last year until now, 21 we've had a 21% increase in our Sunday service attendance. That is huge. There are some businesses that would, be ecstatic over that kind of number. So as God works in people's hearts and as new people come, we need a place for them. So one of the things that we really focus on in a ministry I wanna highlight, and I might be a little biased because I lead this ministry as well, is our small groups ministry. And it is our goal this year to launch 38 adult groups. And I am happy to share with you that as of right now, as of this fall, we'll be launching 33 groups and they're growing each month. It is our kind of passion and, and goal for this year to have 50 groups, 50 small groups within Motion Church. We, it is our desire as Motion Church to be a church of small groups, not just a church with 
groups. And we know that true transformation, true transformation um, in relationship with Christ and with each other happens within these groups. So thank you so much for always being so willing to invest in the kingdom of God and believing in the missions of Motion Church. God bless.